Hello, my name is Dean Elhoss and today I will be explaining to you the difference between capital and revenue expenditure. So if we look at the definitions of capital and revenue expenditure, we can see that the capital expenditure is the money that we spend on buying the fixed assets in a company, whereas your revenue expenditure is the money that we spend on a day-to-day -day basis running the firm. If a business owner uses money in the bank to buy land and a factory to be able to manufacture the toy trains, then this is considered to be capital expenditure. Expenditure is another word for spending or something that the company buys. Why is it capital expenditure? Well, if the company uses the money in the bank to buy the land and the factory or to purchase a delivery van, then it is considered to be capital expenditure if it is expected that the asset will last longer than one year. Capital expenditure is always shown in the firm's balance sheet. Remember, if for example the company imports a delivery van from Germany for $40,000, but it then has to pay a tax or an import tax, if you like, or tariff of $10,000, then the actual cost of bringing the asset to life will be $50,000. So the question there would be, what is the capital expenditure? Well, it is the cost of paying the tax plus the original cost of 40000 which in total equals $50,000. Because you needed to pay that to bring the delivery van into the company, then the capital expenditure is considered to be 50000 Revenue expenditure, on the other hand, is the business spending on the day-to-day -day costs of running the company, and is always shown in the profit and loss account or the income statement of the firm. Examples of revenue expenditure would be the wages or salaries that you would have to pay your workers to make the toy trains, the electricity you would need to power the machines that manufacture the toy trains and light up the factory, and finally, you might need to pay on a day-to-day -day basis the insurance company to insure you against any accidental damage, accidents to your workers, or in a worst case scenario, a fire in your factory. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait up for the next tutorial to load up in the playlist. Remember you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video.